After having a great session from AirAsia, now is my pleasure to introduce you to our next contributor of the day, joining us from New York City, Dan Loden. Dan is the CMO of White Ops, where he's responsible for the company's marketing and brand leadership initiatives at both the strategic and tactical level, looking to accelerate companies' growth. Today, he will be sharing with us the following topic, every pound counts, the impact of COVID-19 on advertising and marketing fraud. Dan, right, over thanks, to you. Thanks, Gabby. Really appreciate the opportunity to share our story today about making every pound count, especially with the impact of COVID-19 on advertising and marketing fraud. There's some really important things and lessons that we're seeing that we wanted to share um, around fraud and how to better protect your advertising and marketing, pounds, dollars, euros, you name it. Uh, we think it's an important story to share today. So thank you for this opportunity. And at White Ops, we're all about keeping it human. So a little bit about us. So as you can see by all the logos, this is just some of the companies that we work with. We work with enterprises across the globe, including the largest internet platforms, and many of the brands that you see here today where we are protecting their digital interactions from sophisticated bot attacks. We wanna make sure every digital engagement is a human engagement. So today we actually verify over five trillion interactions per week, determining whether it's a human or a sophisticated bot. Um, so it's massive scale. We do it in less than 10 milliseconds response time with tremendous accuracy. We do it by having over 250 plus algorithms that determine very quickly whether it's a sophisticated bot based off of a lot of very um, targeted details. And those algorithms constantly change to ensure we stay ahead of bad actors and we can determine whether it's a sophisticated bot or a human, even if it comes from the same device. So from a standpoint of uh, coverage, from a standpoint of signal, from a standpoint of scale, we cover and protect all of these organizations today, and we call that collective protection. The more we see across the globe that's maybe impacting one organization or one vertical, we can then make quick modifications to our algorithms to ensure we're protecting everyone. And the better we are at that, um, the better you are protected. So from a standpoint uh, of making sure the advertising and marketing ecosystem um, is as fraud free as possible. This view of collective protection is incredibly important. So here's something that I think is really important for us all to talk about today. I'm a marketing leader. I'm the CMO of White Ops. And I think as a conversation between all marketing and advertisers, these are the things, especially in the time of COVID-19 that are critically important. So from marketing perspective, we are being asked to drive real business results. Right? It's not about likes or clicks or views. It's about driving real business results. And we have to do more and more to make sure we're doing that to help our companies be successful. We can also engage with more people digitally because people are staying online and going online using their mobile devices or connected TV streaming services now more than ever. But we also then need to ensure we are engaging with real humans because with all of this new activity online, the fraudsters follow that money as well. So for marketers, ensuring we are engaging with real humans is a key thing here because the amount of fraud that's going out in the ecosystem is substantial, as high as 30 some percent in some cases. And ensuring that you are working and engaging with real humans can really help impact your bottom line. So this is where making sure every pound, dollar, euro counts, especially in the time of COVID-19. We are being asked as marketers to step up. So to ensure you're engaging with real humans will drive real business results. And, and that's something that we all really need to be aware of. And I will tell you, every company in the world today is being attacked by sophisticated bots. It's not a small percentage. It's, it's not, not me. It's a larger percentage than you may think, and it's every company across the globe. So ensuring every pound you spend goes to human interaction is really, really critical. So what I did uh, is ask the team to pull together some data 
from a COVID time period of the impact on advertising and marketing campaigns. And I wanna share some things with you up until March 30th. Um, we'll be able to share in a couple more months uh, later uh, details and later information, but we wanted to at least give you a snapshot of the trends that we are seeing. So overall, we are starting to see global ad requests go up. Um, this was as of March 30th, and this continues to this date. So overall, the amount of ad requests continues to grow. It, what's interesting though, is if you break it down further on a global basis, more people are using mobile devices, more be people are using connected TV or streaming um, types of, of devices. So from a standpoint of COVID, more people are staying at home, staying home longer. They're using their mobile devices and using their connected TV devices more often. And those are huge opportunities for us as marker, marketers to engage with those individuals and those devices. What we found is on the desktop side, it's actually been falling some. And we think because a lot of the desktops are, are at, the, at work and people are working from home, they're just not using it as much. So lots of opportunity to get in front of more people and connected devices and mobile. And from an advertising perspective, that's a real opportunity for us to engage with that audience. We've also seen some things that are interesting around arts and entertainment, food and drink, where that growth has been substantial because more people are working from home. They want to be entertained from home. Um, they also want to have food and drink delivered to their homes as well. And then as you can expect, sports and travel have fallen off because live sports have fallen off and people aren't traveling as much. We're starting to see a recovery um, since March 30th. Um, but again, it's based off of, you know, different countries and, and who's turning things on sooner rather than later. So COVID has definitely had a huge impact on the advertising and the marketing world. There's no question. We all feel it. And there's been some good opportunities for some companies and it's been really challenging for others. The important thing here is that with more people going online and staying online for those marketers and advertisers that have the ability to go spend and to engage with real humans can actually have a substantial impact on their business because they're being aggressive and trying to get in front of this audience that's spending more time online. So it's an opportunity for all of us to engage in the right way. And again, ensuring you're doing that with real humans. So here's a big question. Do you know how many of our digital advertising and marketing interactions are human versus sophisticated bots? That's the big question you should ask yourself, right? Is it 99% human, 1% bot, or is it something substantially more on the sophisticated bot side? As I mentioned earlier, we've seen traffic as high as five, 10, 20, even over 30% of the traffic being sophisticated bots, and it's impacting your marketing spend. It's taking dollars away from how you are trying to engage with real humans and that's impacting your bottom line. So this is a number one question you should ask yourselves. Why? Because sophisticated bots are really having a negative impact across every company in the world. You know, it used to be simple bots that most of the other providers can stop, you know, that lived in data centers, that lacked cookies, that behaved like bots, that the bad actors were actually just trying to raise extra money in a side gig. Um, those were pretty easy to spot and to stop. But things have changed, especially over the past 12 months, 18 months, in, a, in the essence where sophisticated bots run by organized cyber criminals with executive teams and two week sprints, specialization in placing malware and um, taking that money and monetizing those efforts and clicking on ads. Um, it's now become a very sophisticated, organized crime syndicate that's out there that's creating these fraud uh, incidences that are taking valuable dollars from marketing, marketers and brands. Um, this is not a simple activity. It's very, very sophisticated, hard to determine. And one of the reasons why is the malware they create, they are placing those on consumer and enterprise and government devices without many people even knowing it. So the spyware, the malware actually lives on consumer devices. So a consumer could be doing one thing and then the spyware, the malware in the background could be doing something totally different. So it's important to be able to determine which is which, which is sophisticated bot, which is human. And you're able to go and make sure you stop any of that sophisticated bot activity. 
and they also have user and device IDs, and they replay normal distribution that mimic human behavior. So it's really gotten difficult to determine if it's a sophisticated bot or it's a real human. So having the ability to, to de determine those differences is really, really important and very, very hard. And that's why this is a cybersecurity issue, not a measurement issue. This is a way to detect and protect um, all these enterprises that we work with in internet platforms from these sophisticated bots because they're very difficult to spot. So sophisticated bots look and act like humans when they visit websites, they fill out forms, they take over accounts, they scrape information, they commit payment fraud. They are creating billions of dollars in losses to all of the brands and the consumers out there and they're impacting pretty much again, every company across the globe. So it's really important to address the sophisticated bot activity that's visiting your websites, that's clicking on your ads because it's, it's really a substantial loss to everyone. So here's the impact of fraud on advertisers. One, it's wasted spend. We all know if 30% of the clicks on your advertising are sophisticated bots, you're only, you know, your, your efficiency and effectiveness of your spend is su sufficiently impacted. Um, it's also a reactive approach, right? You're limited by secondhand notification and little detailed information of what's going on. There's also brand erosion where you're skewing your analytics, you're increasing the opportunity for performance loss because you're not enabling the success rate of, of your consumers to get access to, to your goods and services. And then there's also channel confusion, misguided investments away from inventory where there's true engagement with humans. So all these things are impacting advertisers in different ways and um, you know, it's substantial uh, and it's painful. So here's a couple examples, real life examples of how this has played out. One is called Ice Bucket. It was a streaming fraud operation that had 1 billion ad opportunities per day at a peak in January. These were consumer, these were devices that looked like they were streaming devices, but they weren't. Um, it was ad app spoofing at its best. Um, and in essence, these were devices that looked like Roku, other CTV or Android devices. They looked and acted like they were, but they weren't. So advertisers thought they were advertising to real humans looking at uh, connected TV streaming services, but it wasn't. It was actually bot activity and it was substantial. So at, at White Ops, we spotted this. We were able to go and recognize this very, very early on and tell all of the companies that we work with across uh, the advertising ecosystem that this was going on, we were able to stop it and minimize the impact. Um, so really, really important aspect of this. Key aspect of this is through trust and uh, visibility and being able to work with the right partners to make sure this type of thing doesn't happen. And this is a collectively protected ecosystem where you can ensure that you're protected against these type of spoofing examples. Um, so in this case, if you were part of this ecosystem, you were protected. If you went outside the ecosystem, there was a lot more fraud going on. So that's just one example. Another example is uh, EVE, 3VE. And this was overall a, um, a case of collective protection where we worked with Google, we worked with Facebook, Microsoft, the Trade Desk, Amazon, the FBI, law enforcement from 10 other countries where we recognize a very large bot fraud organization. They were sending over 12 billion ad requests per day. They had taken over 1.7 million infected machines and creating havoc across the whole uh, advertising ecosystem. And they were based out of um, uh, the Ukraine and Russia and they felt they were untouchable. Uh, we spotted them, we worked with these companies, we were able to determine what they were doing and where they were and who they were. And the, this group, several members of that group actually went on a surf vacation to the Far East, landed in an airport where local authorities and the FBI's landed and, or got on the plane, took them off the plane, and now this group is, uh, several of them are in jail in Brooklyn serving 40 year sentences. So the only way that we can have an impact here is through collective protection. When we do this together, we are much more successful in taking the bad actors out. So the 12 billion fake requests that you see per day actually went to zero within 24 hour periods. 
And the only way we can do that is if we disrupt the economics of cybercrime by taking these bad actors out. And collectively, we can do it. Uh, we're stronger together. And, and that's why um, this, this story of, of working together across um, law enforcement and with some of these great partners uh, that we work with here on EVE, uh, it's a true way to show how we can actually win this war against fraud against advertising fraud, marketing campaign fraud. Um, and this is, sets a great type of framework for us to work together in the future. So then let's talk a little bit about fraud impact on marketing campaigns. Similar type of, of issue where um, sophisticated bots are, are acting like humans, but doing very, very bad things. So because of our work in the ad tech space, many brands got to recognize us and said, hey, we see something going on on our website that doesn't seem right. We see tremendous traffic, but then we don't see conversions. What's going on? Can you help us? We have certain tools in place, but they're not spotting what's going on. Can you help us? So we simply put our tag on site um, and we were able to go quickly recognize, again, as high as 37% of one case, where um, it was all sophisticated bot traffic filling out forms. So when fraud impacts marketing campaigns, it impacts it in the following ways. Lost opportunities from a standpoint of you're engaging with, you're not engaging with consumers, you're engaging with bots. So the lifetime value of, uh, of this is, is impacted in a, in a huge way. Inaccurate data is a massive problem because once you collect all that data and if sophisticated bots are interacting with you, it actually messes up your data pools. A ton amount of wasted effort, whether it's on the marketing team or the sales team following up, it really impacts everyone from, from a standpoint of, hey, uh, I followed up with this lead and nobody was there. And then obviously it leads to lower conversion rates. When you have high sophisticated bot traffic, um, your conversion rates on your spend um, is significantly lower than anyone would like. So the campaign might look like it was a huge success because it drove a lot of traffic, but the ROI numbers were so small, it just didn't make sense. So this is the problem that fraud has on the impact of marketing campaigns. And it's across the board from a tactics perspective, whether it's lead gen, display advertising, organic traffic, video and native advertising, social media, SEO, SEM, keyword search, all of these things, all these tactics can be impacted by um, sophisticated bots. And they would then visit your website, they could fill out forms, they can you know, click on different uh, aspects of your website and advertising and the like. And from that standpoint, it really impacts how you're viewing all the success of a campaign. The problem is then it follows up with uh, all that information then gets put in your tech stack. So the marketing automation, data management, CRM, personalization, all gets filled with incorrect data because a lot of that data has been filled out by sophisticated bots. So it, it's across the board, whether it's in your ad tech um, programmatic campaigns or whether it's through all the other tactics marketers use to drive traffic to their site and to their form fills. Um, sophisticated bots are impacting across all of these different tactics and in your tech stack, and it really makes it challenging for marketers to be successful. So what can be done about it? Well, really what it does, it requires a completely fundamentally different approach to attacking the problem. The goal is to disrupt the economics of cybercrime. The goal is to stop fraud and actually win this war against fraud, which can be won uh, if we all do the right thing and we all act. So we must address the economics of fraud to go win. Uh, we must make the cost of doing fraudulent activity too high, whether it costs them <clears throat> too much effort, too much investment, or they actually might be put in jail if they are found out. That's how you stop this type of fraud from happening. And we also must play the long game. You know, you can't just knock somebody down and they show up somewhere tomorrow and go uh, create fraud somewhere else. We want to take them out. We want to make it, make it so hard for them to be successful. They decide to go and do something else. Or again, uh, in the case of Eve, where we put several of them in jail with 40-year sentences, um, those type of impacts 
um, take the long game uh, to ensure that uh, they don't come back. We must protect brands and the users without impacting the user experience, without sacrificing their privacy, right? You have to make sure the tag that we would put on site um, with a very quick response time does not impact the user experience whatsoever or doesn't cause privacy concerns. So the approach we take is around a privacy sensitive approach where we just determine if it's a human or it's a bot, it's that simple. And then ac advertising and marketing fraud, it's not a measurement issue. It is a cybersecurity issue. It requires constant innovation to stay ahead of adversaries to, in order to detect and protect all the brands uh, from, from these type of sophisticated attacks. It's not a measurement issue. It has to be focused on from a cybersecurity issue and, and that's how you get it done. So here's another example. So we worked with an automotive brand around campaign optimization. Um, they sus suspected a sophisticated bot problem because they were spending a substantial amount of money. They drove a lot of traffic to their site to fill out forms for test drives. The challenge was um, when those dealers called on those um, leads, no one was there. A large percentage of them were not there. In this case, fraudulent uh, levels were over 30% for some sources. So the brand used intelligence that uh, was provided by White Ops to determine where that fraudulent traffic was coming from, line by line item, full visibility into where all the traffic was coming from so that they can stop engaging in the areas where sophisticated bot activity was happening. When they eliminated those traffic flows, they eliminated the wasted spend and the ROI increased by over 600% in just six weeks. So yes, there's bad news that sophisticated bots are impacting your advertising and marketing spend. But once you fix it, the increase in the ROI and the business impact of the company is substantial. So we did this for a large automotive brand and we're very, very excited to help them with these results. There's also a lead verification case around insurance where they increased spending on search advertising, click-through rates were very, very high, but the leads were never reached by agents. We found over 23% of the leads actually were coming from sophisticated bots. They stopped the campaigns in the search engine in the area where these traffic was coming from because we gave them full visibility to where the fraud was happening. And then from that, they saw an increase of 15% on their ROI. So again, every pound, every dollar, every euro counts. If you are engaging with real humans, your ROI goes up substantially. Take the sophisticated bot traffic out and you're able to go be very, very, very successful. So again, to summarize here um, and, and kind of round this out, um, from an advertising perspective, um, spoofing, device farms, device malware, hidden incentives are all the challenges and all the ways the bad actors are, are, are putting in place to try to commit advertising fraud. The only way to solve this is to detect and prevent sophisticated bots pre and post bid so that you can gain visibility into the fraud and force out fraudulent supply. You can block fraud in the pre-bid environment for your website, for mobile, from connected TV, and you can ensure you're engaging with real humans. That's the solution. When you do that, the outcome is fraud-free inventory for improved quality, pre-bid mitigation for operational efficiency, full transparency across the ecosystem. There's no impact on the user experience and there's lower revenue leakage, which means higher ROI and better business results. So there's a big challenge out there, but there's a solution. And, and once you put the solution in place, the outcome can substantially increase the value of every pound, euro and dollar you spend. From a marketing perspective, the challenges around automated clicks, fraudulent leads, retargeting deception, competitive assaults. Those are all the, the key challenges that the bad actors are putting in, pl in place to steal marketing dollars. The solution is to optimize marketing spend, minimizing non-human traffic. So if you identify sophisticated bots visiting your websites and skewing your analytics, and you're able to stop them, it's a great way to, to solve this problem. You can also prevent fraudulent leads by matching to your CRM data with bot-driven form fills. 
and you can eliminate retargeting and sales activity to fake traffic, ensuring that your sales team is engaging again with real humans. So the outcome of this is clean data. It's site, interac site interactions with real humans. It's optimized marketing spend for better results. It's increased lifetime value of lead generation and full transparency into where these threat actors are so you know that they, you can stop them from doing it again. So these are just some of the key things, from, again, from a challenge solution and outcome perspective that you can put in place that would substantially increase um, the benefits of all the marketing and hard work that you and your teams are putting in place. So as a key takeaway, you know, I would say this is me being a marketer, I'm very passionate about this because it, it, it impacts every marketer and every advertiser across the globe. This is our opportunity as marketing leaders to drive significantly higher ROI and substantially better business results if we work together through collective protection. Uh, this way we will ensure that fraud is recognized, it's addressed, and it's eliminated as quickly as possible. And that way we make sure we're engaging with real humans. When that happens, good things happen. The ROI increases substantially, as I shared earlier. Um, the impact marketing has on the company um, is, grows substantially. And in, in essence, we become heroes of the company because we are being more effective in what we're doing, especially in a time of, of COVID. So this is the key takeaway. If there's anything that you would remember out of this entire presentation is now is the opportunity for us to take action and stop fraud and collectively protect ourselves. And when we do this uh, overall, uh, we will be much more successful in our roles and our jobs. So with that, if you wanna learn a little bit more about White Ops, visit us at whiteops.com or reach out to us at info at whiteops.com. And you can also just learn about our products at whiteops.com slash products and platform. Thank you very much. Dan, thank you very much for a really insightful and practical session. We still have a couple of minutes, so I'm going to ask you two questions that we have received uh, during your presentation. So the first one is, how do you determine if sophisticated bots are impacting our site traffic? And what level of detail do you provide to determine where the boot traffic is coming from? Yeah, that's it's a great question. It's real simple. <clears throat> you know, we've created these tags, that uh, JavaScript tags, that all we would do is place them on your web pages. Simple form fill or all of your web pages, um, <clears throat> however you want it set up. And you're able to actually then have full visibility in the traffic coming to your site, where it's coming from. <clears throat> and you're able to determine uh, we're able to share with you line item by line item by line item where the human traffic is coming from and where the sophisticated bot traffic is from. And then we can help you take action to ensure that sophisticated bot traffic does not impact you anymore going further. So it's simple to enable. Just put the tag on the site or on the web page or the form fills. And that way you're able to go stop these type of attacks and learn kind of what's happening and ensure that those things don't happen again. Perfect, thank you. The second one is, how do I ensure the advertising dollars I spend are being spent appropriately to ensure there is no fraud? Yeah, I, another great question. From an advertising perspective, working through a collectively prote protected ecosystem is the way to ensure that your advertising dollars are protected, that they're being spent engaging with humans, right? So we work with lots of different companies across the ecosystem where we're protecting them from advertising fraud. Be a part of that ecosystem. Engage with those partners uh, to ensure uh, that your advertising dollars are flowing through uh, the right process to stay protected. If you go outside that, like the example of Ice Bucket, there's a lot of chance for fraud. If you stay within the collectively protected ecosystem, you're gonna ensure your advertising dollars are well spent. Perfect, thank you very much. We have received more questions, but unfortunately, that is all the time we have today. If you have submitted a question, someone from our team will follow up and we will be able to share it with Dan. Also, Dan has proposed a polling question that you will be able to see it afterwards and take part. Thank you very much, uh, Dan, again, for your time and uh, contribution. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you.